Hey boys and girls, in today's video we're going to be talking about volume and density. We're going to be measuring volume using a graduated cylinder and we're also going to be talking about density and what it is. All right, so stay tuned. Hopefully you guys enjoy and let's roll it. Here we have a graduated cylinder. This one goes up to 100 milliliters. This one is going to be kind of hard to see. Only goes up to 25 milliliters. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my funnel Put my funnel up there and I'm going to add some water. I'm going to do my best to measure out about, let's say, 30 milliliters of water. So grab my water, I'm going to pour it in here. Okay. And I think I might have gone just a tiny bit over. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna move the funnel, move it out the way, and pour just a tiny bit back into the beaker. All right. Okay. So that might've been a little too much. So what I'm going to use is going to be a pipette. I'm gonna squeeze the pipette, place it in the water, let go of the pipette, and then add some droplets on the inside, okay? And that's about perfect for the rest to the beaker. Now, right now I have 30 milliliters uh, in the graduated cylinder. Now, how am I going to measure the volume of an object? Drop this 20 gram weight into it. I'm gonna tilt it tilt the graduated cylinder, so make sure it will not splash. Now we're gonna look at the difference. Now it definitely did go up. I see that it's right below 34. So we're going to write down the end. So we started at 30 and now we're at 34. In order to find the volume of the weight, we're going to subtract the 30 from the 34. So let's figure that out. What's 30 minus 34? It's going to be four. And then the units are going to be, it's going to be milliliters. I'm gonna go ahead and put a box around it. Now this time I'm going to use a 50 gram weight, 50 grams. I'm gonna drop it in there. Go ahead and drop it. Again, I'm going to tilt this so it won't splash too much water. I'm gonna try my best. All right. A bit over 35, 36, let's say 36. Okay, so 36 ml. And so the total volume of the weight, 20 gram weight, is going to be what's 30 minus 36 six milliliters and that is going to be the volume of this weight well the final thing that we're going to talk about is density so density is going to be the amount of space an object takes up in relation to the amount of matter in that object so i have a weight that's 50 grams this is the size and then also have a ping pong ball. It's much bigger than the weight. Now, depending on density, which one is more dense? The weight is gonna be more dense. Which one's bigger? The ping pong ball. Now, just because the ping pong ball is bigger doesn't mean it's going to weigh more. It all depends on how much mass is inside that object. Now, we know that the ping pong ball is bigger, but it's also hollow. I do have a little puff ball right here. Which one is going to weigh more, the puff ball or the mass? I do have a digital scale, which, are, which we are going to be using to measure the mass of the ping pong ball and the weight. Okay, so this is a 50 gram 
weight, place it on the scale, give or take, there it is, 50 grams, perfect. Let's move that one away. And since I'm having a hard time placing the ping pong ball on the scale, I'm going to use a beaker to hold it in. Now the magical part about this digital scale is that I can put any item and then press the word tear and it's gonna change it to zero. Now I'm going to add the ping pong ball on top, zero, and it's about 1.44 grams. All right, so which one weighs more? Which one has more density? The weight does because it's heavier. And just because, again, just because the ping pong ball is bigger doesn't mean it's going to be heavier. That is density. Okay, so a quick little experiment. I'm going to drop the weight in the water. Now, I don't want to drop it all the way down because it might break the glass. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to drop it in gently. Oh, geez. Okay, it's okay. I think the glass is all right. So what happened to the, to the weight? It's saint, right? Now let's try the ping pong ball. And we know that the ping pong ball is bigger, but it's less dense. Is it less dense than water? Of course it is. Less dense than water and it floats. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. We talked about density and volume, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye everyone.